Hi, I'm Joe Weisenfelder with Cars.com. This is a 2013 Lexus LS 600 HL. It is the hybrid version of the LS 460 L, but it's best not to think of it as a hybrid in the traditional sense because in that regard, it would be a miserable, miserable failure. Just look at the numbers. According to the EPA, this car gets 19 miles per gallon city, 23 highway or 20 combined. That combined number is only two miles per gallon better than the all-wheel drive version of the LS 460 L. Difference is, this car costs almost $121,000. That's 38 grand more than the LS 460 L. So essentially you're paying more than $19,000 per MPG. Now it so happens that the LS 600 is one of the first hybrid luxury cars when it came out a few years ago. And the old approach used to be a little bit more uh, a combination of power and efficiency. And sometimes the emphasis is on power. And that's the case here. Uh, the system power for the entire hybrid system, V8 engine and electric motors, is 438 horsepower. And that is compared with 360 in the regular LS 460. So even though this car outweighs that one by more than 400 pounds, uh, it is quicker. I mean, it goes like a shot. And one other bonus, I drove the 460L and I found that it had a fair amount of lag, like accelerator hesitation. Usually you would associate that with a hybrid. In this case, it switched. This one, you hit the pedal, just goes. Another advantage that comes from this being a hybrid is it makes a very quiet car even quieter. Uh, partly because at low speeds, the engine doesn't even turn on. Uh, when the engine does turn on, it doesn't run at very high RPM in most cases. Push, you get normal mode, and this makes the accelerator kind of average response. You can go to the left, gives you an eco mode, and that makes it even less responsive and more efficient to drive. And then flip it another time, and you get the comfort mode. Now, in the comfort mode, you get really soft air springs, soft shock absorbers, uh, my editor friends and I agree that short of an ultra luxury car, say a Rolls Royce, this is the softest riding car you can buy. Now if you flip in the other direction to sport, it just makes the accelerator uh, more sensitive and go to sport plus and that will firm up the suspension and uh, even in that mode it's still pretty darn comfortable. The L in 600HL means this is the long wheelbase version of the sedan. Um, that's the only way that the hybrid comes, though you can get short and long wheelbase in the regular gas only version. Um, enormous back seat, as you can see, and this one has the executive class seating package, which is an option that's more than $7,000. Lots of neat tricks, the most mundane of which is simple recline. Not a big deal. Um, but then there's something even better. You can control the seat in front of you, as can the driver. There's even a one-touch automatic version. It moves the front seat forward. It's reclining me automatically. And then there's an ottoman button. Hit the ottoman button and it gives you a foot rest or a leg rest, I guess. Now, unfortunately, even at uh, the average height of about five foot ten for a male there's not enough room to put your legs forward I'm six feet tall but we've tried it with different people uh, but I think you'd agree it's not a bad way to go if you can fit other neat tricks got your nice little table you probably know some cars uh, in the front have heated seats sometimes heated and cooled uh, heated rear seats are more common this one has heated and cooled rear seats and then there's the best thing in the car it's not a phone, it's a control for the massaging seats. Now, I have never really liked a massaging seat in a car before. Uh, usually they just inflate the lumbar bladders and stuff. This one is the real deal. Um, you can vary the intensity, you can vary the frequency, you can, it uh, mas actually massages your back like one of those real massage chairs you can buy for your home, and you can make it vibrate too at different frequencies. Definitely the best seat of this type I've ever used and possibly the best thing in this car. Now, a little bit less unique, there is an entertainment system. Um, actually pretty standard, the screen comes down um, as opposed to being in the head restraints. There's only one screen, has the remote control, has the wireless headsets, 
which you've probably come to expect in minivans and such. Uh, the main difference is this one plays Blu-ray discs. Now here's perhaps the biggest shortcoming uh, to the 600H, uh, apart from the price. And that is the trunk is pretty small, 10 cubic feet instead of 18 in the regular LS460L, and that's because of the battery pack associated with the hybrid system. So if you don't think of it as a hybrid, the LS600HL is a pretty spectacular car, but you pay for it. As equipped, ours is $135,000, and let's be frank, it's really more of a limousine than a consumer car that you would buy. Uh, so I don't even know if it's worth considering if you're just a normal person as opposed to a limo driver, um, but I'm going to need more time to think about it. So I'll see you later. You can turn the lights off.